Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a was that haul worth it video. Uh, this is where I look back on my purchases from the same month one year ago and I let you know how I'm going with them and whether I regret the purchase or not. So I only bought one thing in January of, sorry, in December of um 2021 and that was the pharmacy glean cream glen, 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 what <laughs> green clean uh holiday trio and here it is i still have the items have i used these honestly i don't know guys we're gonna we're gonna have a look um no it looks like i've only like you know i've taken like a tiny bit to uh test them out and see you know do I like the scent yeah they're like they're basically untouched um this is definitely one of my toxic traits with uh you know beauty purchases fuck they smell good that lemon and mint one absolutely banging if they bought that out in a full size I'd buy it not that I need it um so you guys will know if you watch this series every month um, I bought this same set for this year. It's just like, you know, they're the like 50 gram or 50 mil tubs in a trio and they're like limited edition scents for the holiday season. These are my weakness. I love them. Um, I like when I bought this, I didn't need any type of product like this. Um, I just really, really love the pharmacy cleansing balm. It's my favourite cleansing balm. Um, I have cleansing oils that I have favourites of as well. But if we're talking about balms, like the pharmacy one is my favourite. And I just couldn't resist it. I knew it was limited edition and I wanted it. And it was the same this year, you know, like I just, I wanted it and I didn't want to miss out. So I bought it. Um, and I don't have any regrets with that. I think what makes me a bit sad about this purchase is that um, I haven't really like dug into them and used them properly and that is because I have been focusing on using up other oil cleansers that I have that are effective, they work, they're just not my favourites. Um, I still enjoy using them and I want to finish them so that I can sort of whittle down my collection and just start buying and enjoying the ones that I really, really, really love or buying something new to try out. So I have an excess of that type of product in my collection or in my life and it's taking me time to get through them. So these guys just haven't been used, which is a shame. Um, now, as for my purchases this month, I haven't purchased any beauty products and I am going to... Oh, sorry. Um, that was a box of lipsticks. Um, I am going to aim to not buy things in 2023. Now, I've been tossing up between doing a low buy or a no buy. And I think a no buy is just not going to work for me. Because I can already think of something that I want to buy. This month, it just hasn't released yet. Um, I would like to buy the Beautylish Lucky Bag. I really enjoy buying that. I enjoy unboxing it. I love the surprise. I am, for the most part, always happy with the contents. Sometimes there's things in there I'm not a fan of. Um, but also, it's one of those things where I feel like the products that are in it are often... Um, you know good quality products they're from brands that I already know and trust or brands that I'm interested in but have not got around to trying yet and that doing that thing just once a year makes me very happy and I, I want to be able to do that so I think a no a low buy is a better option for me and a no buy is going to put me into a position where I feel restricted and restrained so I haven't really look I've got a kind of idea of like basic rules that I want to have with my low buy um, but I haven't had time to properly sit down and nut them out and write out a list and sort of you know brain dump 
and expand on those ideas. So I'm going to give myself some time to do that. And then in January, I am going to come back and I will, you know, talk to you about my 2023 low buy and my plans around that. I think what I will do is I will pair um, my was my whole worth it videos with low buy updates to let you guys know how I'm going. There may be months where um, I don't up update at all, especially if in the previous year, like let's say in March of 2023, um, I haven't purchased anything in March of 2022. I didn't buy anything and I don't really have anything to update. I won't create a video then. We'll just, you know, we'll try to keep this series going because I really like to be able to look back and have some perspective on my past purchases while also maintaining accountability for what I'm currently purchasing. But next year I want to, my, my goals are to continue to minimize my collection, um, not bring in excess and save money. Um, like the big thing is saving money and I think when I come back to you guys in January and I talk to you a bit more about it, I will talk a bit more about like my money goals with the saving and how I'm going to use this project to sort of uh, help me do that, essentially. Feel free to let me know if you guys picked anything up this month. Um, I feel like December can be... Uh, look, I feel like any time in the lead up to Black Friday and then from Black Friday onwards can be like really, really hard for people who are trying to minimize purchasing or avoid purchasing and stuff like that. So if you need to like vent to someone in a safe space where I'm not going to judge you because like I've been a toxic purchaser for years, um, feel free. I will lend an ear and listen um, and I will not judge you for the choices that you've made over this holiday season or if you are feeling really good about going through this season and what you've purchased and you know you want to brag also a safe space to brag because it's it's really nice when you sort of set yourself these goals which are based around sort of limiting potentially what you might consider and what I consider like toxic behavior for myself like overbuying crap you can't use it all um and then when you sort of overcome that it's such a good feeling and uh sometimes there's no one to like share those good feelings with because they just don't get it uh you can share them with me because i get it so i will leave you with that guys i hope you enjoyed it and i will catch you in the next one bye